First, I'd like to introduce to you Rocky. Rocky is a Vietnam veteran. He worked with Occupational Therapy Department to get much needed modifications to his home. I want you to hear this story. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Rocky. Good evening, everybody. I guess he told my name, Rocky St. Antoine, and I'm here with my wife, Yvonne, and uh, give you a little story, uh, background of what happened to me. In 1969, I was over in Vietnam, and in 45 days, I uh, received three pretty bad accidents. I was hit twice by hand grenade booby traps, and uh, third time I got ran over by an armored personnel carrier. Now, these carriers weigh about 16 tons, so you ask me if I believe in God, and he's right beside me in my chair. Uh, so I was luckily and gifted by this. Um, I spent a year in a hospital with my wife. She was able to stay off the, off the hospital grounds, but she would come into the hospital and, and help the other soldiers without, and with me, and so we spent a lot of uh, time. I did receive three Purple Hearts and two Bronze Stars for this. Um, thank you. Um, um, I got a prosthetic in my right eye and I have no peripheral vision in my left eye. I broke just about every bone in my back, uh, body, but not my back, so. But I do have back injuries. And uh, I was told about the disability advocates through a friend of mine who was also uh, a veteran who was going through a lot of time, and I was explaining to him how much difficulty I was having uh, to go to the, uh, the bathroom, take showers and everything like that. I'd fallen a couple times in my shower, and he told me about the disability advocates, and uh, I had gotten a hold of a Joanne Fights, and she was extremely, extremely helpful in coming out, taking the information, and giving me and my wife uh, things that we could do to make our, our house a little better in living, opening up doorways, putting on the proper door handles, and uh, taking out the tub, and I, I, we made a complete new bathroom out of it. But if it wasn't for the advocates, the disability advocates coming in and helping me, I ran a little short of money with the VA. The VA doesn't really, uh, apparently they just don't know about the costs that keep rising with these builders. So I was in a dilemma. And I had also re uh, declared bankruptcy. And so I was just getting on my feet. Had it not been for Joanne and the disability advocates, I would be at least six months behind to get this, this uh, bathroom done. But it just worked out beautiful. I mean, your organization here will come. They don't put the stress on you that I get through the VA. The VA will just give you a garbage can full of requirements things that a builder wouldn't even do. I mean, I sent out, we made blueprints, we did everything. It took months and months, and you almost have to just kiss their butt completely. With the, it's, it's terrible. It, it's so stressful and, and, and bad. I, I mean, I just can't tell you enough of it. Uh, but when Joanne came out, and it was just smooth running, I felt like she was a member of the community, so were we. I didn't have to go through begging and begging they just came out and give us this grant and put us so much ahead of uh, And now I enjoy it. I don't have to step up. I had fallen, like I say, a couple times in the shower. And now I have a, uh, a bathroom that's a complete walked-in tile with all the grab bars. Anything I needed, I have. And it just, just made everything smooth. So I want you people, if you get a chance to thank these people, go ahead, do so. And uh, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Thank you.